Today on the Ask a Recruiter video series, are HIM professional wages increasing or decreasing? We will talk about it today. Hey everyone, this is Bertram from the Ask a Recruiter video series and today we're going to talk about merit increases and just salaries in general within the HIM medical coding um, industry. But before we do that, let's go back to 2014-2015. During that time was pre-ICD-10 implementation to implementation. And ICD-10 was a code set that was going to change the whole industry, right? And it did change the whole industry. But it also changed wages in the place of where, around that time, we were seeing sign-on and retention bonuses from five, ten to $15,000, even $20,000 I remember seeing from organizations that were marketing during the various AHIMA and AAPC conferences because there was going to be a war for talent. There was a war for talent. A lot of organizations and health systems were predicting that they were going to be short on having enough staff, that there was going to have a massive backlog of medical codes and charts and claims that need to be processed. So to help them combat that, they were going to hire as many people as they could. But with everyone doing that at the very exact same time, it just became very competitive. And we had to end up paying people more. And the coding vendors were charging these healthcare systems more to have the same talent that they did a few years prior. ICD-10 was implemented, but unfortunately we did not see that backlog. I think a lot of folks were able to get up to speed, and that was probably due to the years that ICD-10 was delayed. It was probably due to the dual coding that was happening, folks coding both ICD-9 as well as ICD-10. And it was probably also due to the delays that happened, and it just allowed that many folks to enter the marketplace. So with folks entering the marketplace, the demand went low and the supply for talent came up a little bit. It was definitely a little bit higher than it was pre-ICD-10. So when folks are changing jobs, I've seen folks that may have made a little bit more at a prior employer, but now when they're joining a new employer, they're definitely open to getting paid a little bit less. So would we say that wages are increasing or are they decreasing? I'd actually say neither. I'd actually say they're probably more normalizing or if we were you know, part of the, uh, the investment in the stock market, they call this market correction because folks were getting paid 40 to 50 times more than they were pre-ICD-10 during that whole ICD-10 bubble. And that was just craziness because I know when I first started in, in, uh, in you know, recruiting medical coders, you did not have to pay that much. And when it was just going up, just due to that whole supply-demand factor, we had to also realize that it was going to come down once the demand or once the supply changed and it, and, it, and it happened. So now we're just, I would say, market normalization. Now we're just at market correction. And yes, if you want to say that they're, they were going down a little bit, they did go down, but that's just more of a correction to keep folks. Because I would also say now, from my experience, I wouldn't say that the rates are actually lower than what they were pre-ICD-10. And if you could please like, share, comment below, um, no details, of course, on any salary or anything, but if you feel like they're lower, I mean, just share, just share your opinion. We'd like to hear about that. But I'll actually have a couple of tips or a couple of things to, I wanted to point out to you around merit increases and what can help you definitely you know, make a little bit more when you're changing jobs, when you're open to new opportunities. So please understand, just because a company usually has a merit increase process, right, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to or they have to give that across the board to all people that are part of that organization. So what that means is let's say sales gets a merit increase across the board. Let's say the HR department gets a merit increase across the board. Doesn't mean the recruiting department gets a merit increase across the board. Doesn't mean the medical coding department gets a merit increase across the board. Yes, you being a renowned performer and a peak performer can help you get a merit increase. You getting a promotion can help you get a merit increase. But it doesn't mean every single person that's a part of your team is going to get a merit increase. And that's very common in corporate. And if you're looking to change jobs, let's say you're talking to a recruiter, an HR professional right now within HIM and coding, I think it's very okay for you to ask them if a merit increase has been given across the board. So you can just manage your expectations. And what I mean by that is if a merit increase for your department has been given across the board, at least that's something that you can hope for. Okay? Doesn't mean it's guaranteed. That's something that you can hope for. 
but I would highly encourage you to do the best job that you can, be the most renowned peak performer you can, so you can ensure yourself some more job security, whether there's a merit increase or not. Hopefully you can actually get a raise and make a, a big salary increase at that time, instead of just a little merit increase. Because uh, I know merit increases, and I think that they were great when I, when I did receive them, but they were not the things I was hoping for to really get me to the levels of financial security that I was really working towards. Okay. So this is Bertram again from the Ask a Recruiter video series. Hopefully this video was helpful. If there's any value within this video, please like, share, and comment below. And if you'd like to send me a question, I know some of us are very private. We don't want to blast things all over the place. We're not like Bertram that wants to get in front of a camera on a weekly basis and share these videos. You can send me an email. You can send me a direct message. You can send me an email if there's something that you would like to ask a recruiter. And if it's of any value, I'd say to more than just yourself, I'm definitely going to get behind the camera and share that with the rest of the world. So once again, this is Bertram. It's a pleasure seeing you here today. Be renowned or be forgotten, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.